What's going on guys? It's your boy Rock from Flip the Thrift. We have a couple orders to ship and then I'm going to head out to a church sale. Anyway, if you guys know me, you know I'm a sucker for church sales. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell to get notified when I post another video. So I'm going to put a bunch of the bins away. We consolidated a lot of the stuff on, on the box truck just to make it easier to pack it. And man, was it a good packing. But anyway, um, I'm going to ship out these few, like a couple orders. There's about 10 orders. Um, the church sale starts at 8, and it is 6 o'clock. So we have two hours. I would like to be there early because I know there's going to be a line. It's supposed to start raining around 7.30. So I'm going to put these labels on. I'm going to get a marker, and we're going to ship our items, and we're going to get the hell out of here and get to this church sale. All right, guys, it's raining like cats and dogs, and of course, I think they're already letting people in. I'm All right, so I came out the wrong side. I got one pair of shoes for a dollar. All right, guys, we are here. We got our bag. Let's go inside. All right, guys, even though we were two hours late to this sale, we still did pretty good. We spent a little under $40. I need to put this up here because that is my mail. Um, we got decent brands. I found Canali. Canali's a really high-end Italian brand, men's brand. Um, I grabbed this. Found Burberry, Canali, um, Territory Ahead, some decent brands, but check her out. She is worth about, I think, like $35. I found a vintage Estee Lauder um, jewelry box, a red plastic jewelry box. There's one that sold for like $35. It still has the paper in it, um, which, is de which is good because it's basically brand new. It's still a little scratched up from being moved around a lot, but it's all gravy, baby. Racking up my shoes. Messing up my J's, brother. Messing up my J's. All right, so now we're going to go get something to eat. Um, we are in Carlisle, so I'm going to go to the Salvation Army because I can't not go. All right, guys, so we're at the we're at the thrift store now. We're at the Salvation Army. They just opened at 10, so they've been open like 10 minutes. And we're going to see if we can find anything to resell on eBay today. And, yeah, whatever. All right, guys, so the first pickup, I look through the shoes, I look through the ties. I'm going to pick up these Angel Steps only because of the condition and the price. They're only $3, and they're, like, brand new. They look like they were maybe worn, like, one time. And um, I think I'll do okay with them. I'm going to look at the belts and the hats and the scarves. And I already looked at the bags over there. All right guys, so we do have a couple things. I picked up this. These are made by Dan River. Um, I think these are vintage. I think these are panels, like like curtains, something like that, but they're missing the tie backs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab them anyway. We got these Woolrich pants. These are only gonna be a dollar. The sheets are only gonna be two. This is from the Science Fiction Book Club. I see these from early 80s, 90s, something like that. I think that this is old. It's only going to be two bucks. I'm going to pick that up. <clears throat> We're over by the scarves. This is a really, really cool pattern. This is a, I think it's Claiborne, Pierre Cardin. So this is a vintage acrylic, but the design on it is really cool. And be careful with these old labels because they are glued on. You want to be careful with those. So not bad so far. Not really spending too much. I'm actually looking at the clearance. And we have some Columbia Omni Shade. They're going to be a dollar. Um, this is Whistle Stop. These are actually referee shorts. These are going to be a dollar. I'm going to pick them up and see if they sell. They're only going to be a dollar. And then I learned a new brand. It's called Title Nine. This is a really good brand. It has a good sell through rate. They are only one dollar. And I think they're going to sell for about 20. Alright, guys, so we got a couple of them. A couple more items. These are Intensity. I've heard of that brand, probably like kickboxing or something like that. 
I'll have to look those up, but before we found this Hollister single stitch. It's made in Brazil. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Uh, found this Sears and Roebuck. This is like a $30, $40 bill. It's got some really cool um, distress on it. And then we did find, I found this Foot Joy. It does have it does have a little club logo on the sleeve, but it may still do well, depending on how much it is. And then, let's see, a fellow shopper showed me this. This is a Lansdowne. It's a Rugby Ireland. It's pretty cool. I think that's like 40 check out this gap really really nice gap um pullover crew i think we're gonna jump on this and i think it's vintage all right guys so that's probably the last place i may stop one more place um actually probably not because he usually has things outside and it's raining so he's definitely not gonna have anything out in the rain i mean actually what he does is unfortunately he has very good items there was vintage t-shirts there was all kinds of really good stuff he just kind of lets it get wet and it gets ruined. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the shop. I have two bags of stuff here. Um, you guys didn't really see anything that I got because I didn't. I'm not using a GoPro, and I wasn't really recording too much inside, just a little bit. Um, but I did pretty much show you guys everything I got. Did I get anything after the last recording? I don't remember. But we're going to do a recap of what I got and what I think I'm going to get for it. And we're back at the shop, and they are finally working on the leak. The guy was here today, and they took my door off the hinges because I wasn't here, and they had to get in. So, But I trust them. It's all good. Um, anybody wants my junk, come and get it. You know? But that's not an invitation, though, guys. All right, so we are um, going to get the little, my little selfie. We're going to move. Move that light back there. We're going to put you up on the stick. And guess what? We are going to... I think I can move. There we go. All right. And we're going to do... We're going to do that. So we are selling a few items today. If you guys have noticed, um, if you list a lot, um, you will know that your sales are going to really jump because it is fourth quarter. So, guys, make sure you guys are really, really listing and really doing your thing and... And because uh, if you want to make money and you want to make that, that Christmas money in and all that stuff, then, you know, meow. No, I'm kidding. All right. Anyway, yeah, they're not worth much. That's like a $15 doll. So we're going to get into it. We got three big bags right here. We're going to rip this off. This was the, he paid for his crap tag for the church and we'll leave it at that. And then I didn't show you guys this, but this came out of a, um, this came out of a storage unit. I grabbed it because um, you can sell empty cases. This is an empty case. A lot of times the model number is on the inside of the case. Milwaukee is a really a really expensive drill. Um, it's a really expensive brand. And you can lock it and everything. There's even a there's even a hole there where you can lock this case so no one can get into your drill. There's the number right there. That's the number. The number that you want right there. There's a number. There'll be a number on the inside. Um, you look that number up, look up Milwaukee, um, but this one says it actually right on the side of it. That's what I looked up, and this is, believe it or not, this the case sells between $20 and $30. Like, I think I see one listed for like 40 bucks just for the case. So this must be a pretty expensive drill. Like I said, Milwaukee is a very expensive brand, so be on the lookout. If you guys see these, people throw them away. It might be in a free pile at a yard sale. Make sure you're grabbing these because they do sell. Um, I think they sell really fast too because people are always looking for them to you know to put their drill in. Maybe they bought the drill somewhere else and they don't have the case. So it you know it is what it is. Now here we go. I probably should have made sure that she's not broken anywhere. But happy birthday, Mr. President. No, I'm kidding. This is Marilyn Monroe, and guess what? She is brand new. There's no box. Um, they had her marked at 10 and then they marked it down to five. So, um, yeah, I'm going to cover up their cleavage and cool. Kind of looks like her, but anyway, this is cool. It's from 1983. It's by world doll. And I think this is like a $40 doll, maybe 50. I, I, I don't remember how much it was. It's probably the original 
Probably the original dress. Yep, Marilyn by World Doll. Yep, even has the tag on the inside. Really cool. She got her little fur, her little fur wrap. Um, but anyway, that was a pretty good scoop for five bucks. Um, should do well with that. I'm gonna try to be really careful with that because I think it's like porcelain. And then this time, we got a flyer. So I better put the flyer away so that way I don't forget to go to that sale. The next sale is not till April, so it's really, really, really far away. All right. So most of these items were a dollar. I paid. Um, I think it was like forty dollars total. I don't know if they gave me a receipt or not. I don't know. But Athleta is a good brand. I think I have one of these already listed. There was a girl that was looking at clothing where I was at, and she was like, Athleta. So I guess she was either a reseller or she just knows good brands. It's got the zipper, the full zip in the back. It's got like the, is that like a high low or what? I don't know what that's called coming down the bottom. It's just like a t shirt. I'm um, coming out of a sweater, like a sweatshirt. This is just like athletic wear. Um, all day, a dollar is is a really good deal. Um, I think this was wool. So this is Concepts Carol Reed. This is 100% wool. Um, it's really, really small. So I don't know if that would be for like a little girl or just like a really, 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 really small girl. I don't know. It says 34 um, it looks like it's in great condition. It's got a little bit of pilling, but there's no there's no stains on it. But it's 100% wool. Winter's coming. We'll see. We'll, we'll try to sell it. I'm not really too excited about that, but then we did get two pairs of shoes. She put the shoes in a separate thing. I picked these up because these are brand new. These are Irvine Park. I'm not really sure how well this brand does, but for they were only a dollar. So look at the bottoms. They were never worn. So they should do well. Then we found a pair of Hoka's. It looked like everyone was just kind of kind of passing them up. They they don't have the right they have Brooks running soles in them, but the cords look good. They have like rip cords. I don't even know which ones these are. Like they're like um, are these the ones that say, that are ghost or whatever? These are the Hoka, they are Hoka Ona Ona. I know, I think that's how it's pronounced, the Ona Ona. <clears throat> these are the Bondi 6, Bondi 6 wide, and they are a 10 and a half 2E, so these are double wide. So these are for someone that has a really wide foot. Um, they are Hoka's, so these should do really well. I paid $1 for these, and they're in good shape. I mean, they're just black. They they look like they're not dirty. They're a little dirty. I think once I wipe them down, they'll, they'll look really good. They're just like, I think this is called like triple black or black on black, something like that. Just, um, it looks like money to me. That's what it looks like. So, two pay. this will probably pay for... Well, I'm, no, I just felt some, yeah, they're a little tore up on the inside. They'll probably still sell. There's there's a hole in there, like, not like a hole, but they are pretty beat up on the inside. It's probably why someone didn't buy them, but I'll probably still get, like, $30 for them because they're really expensive, guys. They're, like, $100 shoes, and when people can get them, they'll get them used anyway, so we'll see. We're going to keep the bags. I keep all the bags. I think that bag may be a little bit too small. Then we found a tweed. This one is an Imperial by Hagger. I see a lot of Imperial by Hagger. Hagger or Hogger, whatever. It would have been nice if it would have had the elbow patches on it, but it's just a... Um, I believe that's called Barley Corn. That style. It's like a check. Um, I think it's called Barley Corn. And then we found... Do, 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 do. It's a Saks Fifth Avenue. I always know when I see that little wool, that 100% wool, that it's it's a Burberry. So we found a Burberry. Um, I believe this is a suit jacket, but I can probably still sell it as a blazer. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. I'm going to have to try to clean it. Um, oh, you know what? That's not even dirt. That's a hole. So mm, I don't know, guys. That might have been a bad pickup. So, we'll see. But then check out this Pendleton. I better check this for holes then, huh? 
I think I was just kind of getting excited that I was actually finding anything being there two hours late. Ooh, this is a nice Pendleton. This has this the silver buttons. Silver buttons. It's got an old smell to it. It's got like that old minty smell. It's made in USA. And this is a Pendleton. It's not a super old Pendleton, but it's it's kind of old. It's got all the buttons. Not seeing any holes in it. So I think we're good. Yeah. I'll probably get about $40 for this, guys. This will probably pay for this. This is like the whole hole. I may just get rid of that Burberry, or I might just sell it anyway. Someone, I'll probably still be able to get 30 bucks, for it, even with the hole in it. So you can sell things with holes and things like that. Um, if it's not really bad, um, just make sure you guys are putting it in your description and letting people know that you know you have a flawed item. All right, we're going to leave Marilyn Monroe here because I'm going to list her. I'm going to list her right away as soon as I get done with this this fall. And here's the sheets that I found. Um, let's get a better look at. They're not sheets. They are, I think they're, I think that's the other, that's the wrong side because there's no color. Yeah. See, there's no color on that side. There we go. Because we should be able to see the bulls. Why aren't the bulls colored in? There's no red. Why isn't the bulls red? Why would the bulls be, why would it be, why would the bull be white? It doesn't really make any sense. Same with the Miami Heat. See what I mean? Like, it's like... The bull should be red. I think they should have made it red. I don't know why they did that. Like, the Knicks is orange like it's supposed to be. But it is... I only paid $2. And I believe that these are missing. Someone has these listed really high. I think like 100 bucks. But I think what this is, is like kind of like a curtain. I think it's a curtain. They're really long, too. Like I probably don't even have to measure. Now, there's a bulls. There's one. Is that bulls? There we go. See, now there's one where it's red. So maybe I'm looking at the wrong side. No. See, some of them are white and some of them are red. That one's red. So I don't understand why they did that. That's kind of weird. But I can't find a date anywhere, but I mean, come on guys, $1.99, I paid $2. So, I mean, you can't beat that. That was a pretty good deal. Uh, let's see, let's take that off right now. Let's do that. I'm trying to find that other little piece, but I don't see it. So we fixed our printer today, huh? Kind of broke it, kind of fixed it, but it's just really old, guys. It's like over five years old. I've had that printer forever since like day one. I think I might have had one before that maybe. I don't even know. That might even be my, the first printer I ever bought. Them brother printers. I got a video about it, guys. If you want to watch it, it's got a lot of views. It's got like 15,000 views. Um, it shows you how to use it, how to hook it up to your computer. Um the real, the real way, all right, I'm not messing with this anymore, but I don't think there's no date on it, but it is what it is. I'd probably get maybe $30 or $40 for, the, for those. I don't have the ties. They're supposed to be ties for them, and I don't have that. All right, let's see this. Let's see. Um, I didn't find any toys or anything like that. Nothing really crazy, but just mainly clothing. But this is... This is what I got from the Salvation Army. This isn't this isn't the church though. And I think that the receipt is in my wallet. Receipt's in my wallet. Check it out. It's not any ink that I need, so I'm gonna resell this. I paid three dollars for this and I should get twenty-five for that. Not a bad uh not a bad turnaround. This foot joy is actually in perfect condition. I paid six dollars for this foot joy. I really like the design on this. It's got the foot joy on the back. We should do really well with that. I feel like we're missing missing clothing, but I don't think we are. We have one more bag and then check this out. It's got the lands down right on the collar. Um just the lands down on the back and then it is a rugby. It is the ire Ireland rugby it's got the rubber buttons where you can if you can take the button 
and you can squeeze it like that and the rubber most likely it's a it's a rugby um all the buttons are there there's no stains stripes are looking good it's a good size um i think that this is like a 40 dollar item right here i think that's about 40 or 50 bucks and then i thought this was really cool i'm pretty sure that this is vintage it's a single stitch it's a hollister it's got a cool little saying on it I think we can probably get about $20 or $30 for this. What do you think, guys? There's a single stitch. Um, it's made in, was it Pakistan or made in Brazil? So I don't know if this is vintage or not. It's a possibility. It could just be vintage style. Sometimes they do that, guys. So, you, you know, beware. Make sure you're not grabbing stuff that, you know, that's it's not vintage. All right, these are women's. These are Columbia Omni Shades. Um, shorts, they were... Were these $4.99? Maybe these were in the wrong spot. I thought that these were on sale. Yeah, I think I overpaid for them. I, I thought that they were on the sale rack, and I thought they were on sale. Because I'm pretty sure certain items that were on sale, they put like a star. They cut a star through it. They use like a hole puncher, and it's shaped like a star. But this is a Sears and Roebuck. It's got the cool distress there and on the sides and on the bottom distress all through it really cool this is about a forty dollar item too looks pretty good um one thing that you want to look for is you want to look for samphorized like i don't know if lee's the only one that does it it has something to do with the material um it's just the denim i don't know what samphorized means i don't really even know what it is like but it's something that you want to look for. It makes it it will make your item worth more. That's it. Let's see. We got one more bin going over here. There we go. I think this is from. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing a bag. Did I put stuff back? Was there another bag? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a bag. Looks like I got way more. Maybe not. Maybe I put some things back. I'm trying to think. What else did I get? Yeah, because I thought I got more stuff there. Maybe I got... A, let me go look in the car. I think I might have... Aha! I found more. I knew there was more. I told you guys that there was way more than that. So, this is from the church sale. So, we're going to put this here. Sit that there. And, hang our keys up. And, I grabbed some business cards while I was walking over there. Which, I have to order more. I think I need to do... I'm going to make them up again. You can order your... You can get business cards from Staples. You can get, like, a 500 of them for, like, $25. See where my link is right there? It's in purple. I should have made it in white so that people could read. You can't really read it. It's really hard to read. So, there's receipts there. Let's see. That one was... Salvation Army. We spent, we spent $41. Church sale was donation. That was like thir that was like thirty. I think I had like thirty nine dollars in my wallet, and I just gave I gave them all of it. This is tracking number and stuff that I need to put in um, for my True Gather. If you guys don't know True Gather, it's another site you can sell your stuff from. Whenever you sell, whenever you sell something on eBay or True Gather, vice versa, it will unlist it, it will delist items for you, which is very convenient, so that way you're not selling items that you don't have. You don't want to do that. So check these out. These are Angel Steps. Um, I grabbed these because they're only $3, and the tread on them is like, they're like perfect. They're barely worn. This I wanted to do more research on. I paid $2 for it. Um, it is the Science Fiction Book Club. Science Fiction Book Club, and I'm re it really just kind of struck my curiosity. I can't find it, so um, maybe that's a good thing. There is one thing listed that is this, the um, the Science Fiction Book Club, and it was like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a book or another. I, I don't know what it was, but it was priced, it was priced pretty high. Like $100 or something, so I was like, you know what? Let me grab this, because this may be valuable. Got another bag. 
All right, so these are, this is a brand, it's called Honig's Whistle Stop. This is, um, this is for a referee. These are referee pants or shorts. So I think they might be women's. It says, it says they're a size 30. I'm sure these are made in USA. They have to be. Honex, cotton, da da da, no chlorine, and 30. They gotta be made in USA. I can't think of why they wouldn't be. These are old. It could be Hong Kong or Japan or something too, but um, I'm guessing these are probably made in USA. I think they're vintage. They're in very good condition. They they almost feel like they're they're probably brand new. And maybe they are men's, like a men's 30. So those would be for like a referee. Those are really cool. I don't know if they're worth that much, but some of the referee shirts do okay. Not not fantastic. I wouldn't really recommend to even pick them up, but it is what it is. These have a $17 price tag from TJ Maxx. All right, these are the 94 baggy. What size are these, actually? I probably won't wear them, though. They're 33s, 2022. So these are new. These actually are just from last year. These are called... They're Levi's 94 baggy. There's the tag there. And these are just from last year. They're not, but they're brand new with tag. They have the tags right on them. I'll have to take that TJ Maxx tag off. I'm just going to fold them this way. Um, but they, they sell for about $35. And I paid I paid 6 bucks for them. Can't beat that for $6. I'm surprised they were priced at $6 for a new with tag. Then we got this really cool Pierre Cardin, 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 Pierre Cardin, or Pierre Card, I think it's Pierre, Pierre Cardin, fine muffler, cashmere finish, it's, so it's acrylic, but look at the design on that, guys, really, really cool, that's a cool, that's an awesome vintage scarf, that'll definitely sell, then I think I noticed a stain on these after, I think they're at the bottom, so these are women's, these are vintage Woolrich, I just, that Woolrich tag on the back is really, really dope. I just thought that was really cool. There it is. So these are on sale. That either means that they were a dollar. I think they're a dollar. Anything that's stamped a dollar. So I overpaid for them shorts. Yeah, they weren't stamped. It might have just been yellow tag. It might have been everything that was yellow tag. I'm not sure. But are these made in USA? No, they're Taiwan. But these are like a women's Woolrich. They're a size 10, which is big. They're khaki denim. And they got like they're okay. Oh look, one leg is why did, would they do that? One leg is pinned up. I don't know why they did that. They might have pinned both of them up. So we're gonna take the needles out of here. Throw them away. Try not to get pricked. I dropped one, of course. Uh oh. That goes to my mask. Haven't sold any of the mask toys yet. The mask Kenner or whatever. The figures or toys. I keep getting low ball offers on them and I just keep turning them down. So there's kind of like little spots. So I'm glad that it wasn't hemmed. But now there's a crease there from where it was folded. But there is a little spot. Like a little, like a bleach. Just a small spot at the bottom. No big deal. If you guys could see that. No big deal. I don't think that's going to really affect the value too much. So, there's that. And there's that. And try to make some room over here. I'll get some of the smaller items photographed first, like, like her in the frame. Put the shoes down here on the floor. I'll get to those. Definitely have plenty to do, guys. Plenty to do. Should be listing and not shopping. Don't. Don't, don't do what I do. All right, so here's the rest of the stuff that we got at uh, church sale. I don't want to cut this because I can reuse this bag. They really tied it in a knot here, buddy. Let's see. Take that off. There we go. Come on. Undo this knot. Sorry guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to save this bag. Almost. There we go. That's coming. 
There it is. And they really tied that in a knot, didn't they? Maybe I did. All right, we're gonna dump it out. I think there's some plastic casing here. I'm gonna try to break that. There they are, there's all the clothes. We got, oh yeah, I forgot, we got a bobblehead. I got a hockey bobblehead. Um, I just looked it up real I scanned it, and I seen somebody had one listed for $30, so I just grabbed it. So, I'm not really sure if it's even going to sell for that. This is really, it's all beat up, but I'll reuse it, and the holes aren't too bad. I'm guessing that anything that had this little green tag on it was a dollar, because they didn't even mark it. They just slapped the tag on it. Check out this Estee Lauder. I thought it was cool. It's probably something that people really overlooked and didn't really see any value, but one sold for $35 without without that little paperwork in there. And um, the lid comes off. You can take the lid off. It has the mirror. Don't break another mirror. I already broke one mirror this year. Not superstitious. So these come out, these little drawers, they come out like that. So we're going to put this back together and we're going to leave it alone before we break it. But really cool it's not perfect it does have some surface scratches but i don't think that that's really going to hurt the value i still think it's awesome and i still think that somebody would really want this to put all their makeup in because that's what it is it is just like a makeup i really like this new table that i got i'll show you the bobble head i think it's a hershey bear it is a Hershey bear, the hockey, I made, I had to make sure that the hockey, that the puck, or the puck, the, the hockey stick was in the container, and it was, his name is Dylan McKillrath, and he's missing a tooth, because somebody knocked it out with a hockey puck, alright, so his, which way does the stick go in, huh, I'm guessing like this, right, <clears throat> Well, I don't think, is he running? I, I guess he's just kind of going, right? So if he would be going, would he be going like that? Or would it be like this? No, why would he do that? That wouldn't make any sense. That, yeah, maybe. Like that. Yeah, that does make more sense because he would be right-handed. He's right-handed. All right, so cool. It's in pretty good shape. Um, regardless of what it's worth, maybe it's only 10 bucks. But we'll see. I'm gonna leave his. I'm gonna put the, the puck inside. And I don't believe that it would be considered new, but you know, whatever. All right. So all the clothing items were a dollar. So I picked up this Dickies. Really nice Dickies, warm. It's got the fleece, the Sherpa. It's got the fleece lining, Sherpa lining, whatever. It's in pretty good condition. I'm seeing. Now I'm seeing like some little, little flaws, but nothing too bad. I think it's a small, but I think, I don't think it would fit. It's a large 12, 14. So I'm guessing that's women's. I think that this is too big. I think that's too big to be girls. I don't think it's girls. I think that's women's. So not, not, not positive, not a hundred percent sure. All right. So this comes off. This is a brand called Orange Orange Theory, and um, it's not a fantastic brand, but it's not a bad brand either. So I was like, you know what? The selfie rate doesn't look too bad. It does have a little, has a small little bleach mark on it. Nothing crazy, just a little little mark right there. Nothing that I'm really gonna sweat. Um, it's got a removable hood on it, and I think that I could probably get between 20 to 25 for this. I think it's like, maybe like golf wear. It's got a little zipper, a little zip pocket on the side. It's pretty cool. And then here's that brand everyone sleeps on, guys. I'm telling you, look at the design on this too. This is gonna sell. That Whenever I find them with designs like this, they sell really fast. There's that zero restriction, guys. It's, um, it's a ladies small. Zero restriction. I have a little bit harder time selling the women's, but look at the design on that. You know, a woman's going to be like, hey, I got to go golfing in that. I definitely got to golf in that. It's not a it's not a Gore-Tex, which if it was a Gore-Tex, it would be a lot better. But I'll take what I can get. 
And this ended up going in, but this is a Talbot's. It's a 100% cashmere. I always find really good clothes on the table because I always go through the tables. Um, it's kind of small. It's, it's like really, really small, like a girl's, like it would be a girl size. So I don't know how well that's going to go. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we found up just an Adidas. So this is an XL Adidas Golf. It's just like your your basic fleece. It looks like it's in really good shape. I'm not even seeing, I don't see any, there's a couple, yeah. There's a couple little light stains at the bottom. There's another one there, yeah. This one does have some stains on it. I didn't see them, but I see them now. So, maybe not. I don't like selling clothes with stains on them. I really don't. I just, oh, well, whatever. Check this out. If you don't know about this brand, you better ask somebody. It's Canali. Canali is another really high-end brand. It doesn't sell as good as it used to, but we should do okay with the tie. Made in Italy, obviously silk. It is made in Italy. It was 100% it's silk. I think it's probably handmade. 100% silk made in Italy. Dry clean only. But it's in really good shape. There was a couple other ties. There was like Jay-Z, Richard, and there was just brands that are just, I'm not picking them up. I don't even want to deal with them because ties are hard enough to sell as it is. You got to find stuff like this. You got to find like like Hermes and really high-end ties. This intrigued me, so I grabbed it. Not really sure, you know, what the heck it is. It says Camp Small Valley, and then it's got all this going on. It has a date on it, too. It is 1997. It is a curtain imprint. I don't even know what that means, but it's got, like, all kinds of little messages on it like i don't know if there's a remedies or something they are what does it say look spiders and everything this is like i guess maybe this is like boy scouts there's a scorpion brown recluse these bites are pin prick size mild blisters nose bleed yeah this is like i don't know maybe like um maybe like boy scouts Cub Scouts, something like that, but I just thought it was interesting. I don't know what it's worth. It, it could be nothing. It could be something. Um, we'll find out. Then Rolf's is a good brand that you want to look out for. Um, this is, I'm opening the wrong size. This is like, I think this is a lady's wallet because it has a floral, has like more of like a flower print. There it is right there. It says Rolf's cowhide. You guys can see that. And then it opens up um, it has, I believe this is pictures. It has a picture spot. Um, there's another little spot in there of credit cards. And then there's another one that opens. Another one that opens. This is probably something that somebody bought and they never used it because it's brand new. It still has the price tag on the inside. So this I'm going to sell new. This is new with tag. And I usually get about 20 to $30 for these, something like that. So something super light goes right in a padded envelope. It's out the door. Um, what was this? This was Cutter and Buck Dry Tech. Normally it's not a brand that I pick up at all, but I picked it up because it has Phillies on it. It says Phillies. Really cool. So this is a woman's. It's a big size too. It looks like an extra large. Yeah, it's an extra large. And this neck right here, I think that's called like a cow neck or something. C O W L. I think that's called a cow neck. Something like that. The sleeves are folded. Looks like it was never worn. It might be a. I don't know if this is not a stadium giveaway. This isn't something that they just give away. I think this is like the Irish, the Irish version of the of the of the Phillies clothing. They do like an Irish thing. Yeah, I think that we're gonna pass on this. Maybe even on that cashmere because it's really small. And this is kind of like a chamois. It's cold storage, foul weather gear. It is a medium. And it is like a burgundy. All the buttons are there. Let's see what the tag says. Where are we made? Are we made in USA? No, made in Pakistan, 100% cotton, but it is kind of like a soft... 
kind of like a soft, um, needs a lot of cleaning though. There's a lot of, like maybe it fell, but it feels like it's like brand new. Like someone never wore it, but it, it might have fell. Someone may have dropped it on the ground and it might, and it's got a bunch of dirt on it. I just have to, I have to clean it up. And then check this out. This is Kevin's Plantation Collection. Made in Guatemala, and then it says Bulls Blast. Bulls Blast, six. I don't even know. I have to look it up. But it does have, I don't know if it could be bull riding, because I guess maybe this stands for something else, too, whenever you see that padded shoulder. That could be something else. Um, I know that's for like um, for like shooting, like a shooting shirt. That's like the padding for for the buck, the butt of the gun. I think it's called the butt, the end of the shotgun. I think that's what that's for. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It may be a bull riding shirt. I don't know, but either or, I thought it was really cool, and I thought it was worth picking up for a dollar. Then I think we found a Peter Millar. Big size. It is a summer comfort. Anytime I can get a Peter Millar for a dollar, I don't even care if it has a logo on it. This one is a long sleeve. It's in good condition. Don't really see. I don't see any stains. It looks like it's okay. White is a tough color when it comes to clothing. It's really hard to keep clean, but there's the tag. Really good brand, guys. Keep picking up Peter Millar. It's still selling really well. Um, this is a big size, too, so this should do well. There's the There's the logo. Omni Resorts, Amelia Island Plantation, I don't even know, I don't think that anyone's even going to care because somebody may just like the brand and just want to wear it for the brand. Then we found a Vineyard Vines, I think I left a couple polos, I should have grabbed them, Slim Fit Tucker Shirt, these still do okay, it's got the whale, it's just, a, they call it the whale shirt, but um, we got a couple items left guys and then that's it and I got to get to work. Because this stuff is just piling up, piling up. Normally I don't pick up territory ahead, but I usually get a few bucks for these. Here's what the tag looks like. It's an extra large tall too, so it's a big size. It's got a really cool um, stripe pattern. It's almost like a corduroy. It basically is, it, it kind of is corduroy. So we'll see. Different designs, you know, you know, fetch, you know, better prices. And then... And this is all from the church sale, guys. This is These are all dollar items. And then I definitely wasn't going to leave these Eddie Bowers behind. I'm looking to see if there's a price. Yep, 60 bucks. There are 33, 32, which would be too small. They're too small for me, but they're just regular, regular khakis. Brand new with tags. There's the tag. Kaboom, kaboom. They're $60 khakis. Um, I'll probably get like 25 for these so that's it guys that's all she wrote go home you don't gotta uh you don't gotta go home but you gotta get the hell out of here anyway guys thanks for watching i'm so um i'm really excited to get more and more subscribers anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash the thumbs up button hit the notification bell to get notified when i post new content and that's all i got for you today peace out